Hello, this is Rob doing a review on the Walter P22. This is the box it comes in. It says it has a 3.42 inch barrel. It comes with the standard lock. It comes with a instruction manual. A registration card. The gun and two magazines. It also comes with this little packet. And inside you'll find a tool to remove your barrel. An alternate back strap. A Allen wrench, a rod that you insert in your spring to help put the gun back together, a safety lock that goes right in here, just a, another way to lock the gun, and this one has two additional front sights, not sure the reason for that. This is the gun. As you can see, it resembles the PK380 a lot. It is the 22. It does have the ambidextrous safety. It does have the ambidextrous magazine release. I believe this magazine holds 11 rounds. It is clear. It comes down as these just like the um, PK380 does to take it down. And then you're going to want to have your magazine out. You pull the slide all the way back, lift it up, and release it forward. And the slide will come off. And then there's your guide rod, which is stainless steel with this really long spring. And they give you this to insert in here to help when you're feeding it back through the end of the slide. To take the barrel off, you take the little wrench they provided you turn it to the left and this little nut will come off the end this barrel shroud will come off and then you can turn your barrel And pull it out of there. It's just a little 22. It comes down fairly easy. It goes back together just as easy. Make sure you get this snug, but you don't want to strip anything.
There you go. Then you insert the spring and the guide rod back in. I go ahead and push it down and grab a hold of it. And then you're going to pull the slide all the way back like you did originally. It's being a little booger. There you go. Pull the slide all the way back. And it should be dropping into place. There it goes. Snap that back into place. Put your magazine in. Release your hammer. And check it. Make sure everything is going well, which it is, and there's your look at the Walther P22 take down, put back together. Uh, if you want to see a size comparison, I just happen to have my Glock 26. They are similar in length. See there, the barrels are flat. The 22 is much thinner. Much thinner in the grip. Significantly thinner in the grip. Compact 1911, 45. Notice the difference in thickness in those grips. The difference in the slides. So the P22 is a small gun. Small gun, no recoil. This one does have the feed ramp polished. Uh, it has part of the barrel polished. It has part of the hammer polished because these tend to, I don't know if this one will do it. Let me release the magazine. These will tend to, there, and stick on the hammer. So I've got this one polished up really well and it won't do that unless you purposely just ease it down but then if you if you just well I ain't seeming to do it but it's got a good catch on there right now that's the only flaw with these guns is they'll get stuck right there and it won't cycle the next round so if you polish that hammer and you're just quick about it then it will work for you it's got a real real easy trigger break it's got some take up there. Let me put the magazine back in. But it's got some take up there and then click. Click. Reset. Right there. Click. So, there's a 22, fun little gun, not too bad, good plinking gun, cheap to shoot, comfortable in the hand, looks pretty cool, not ideal for self-defense, I suppose if you have nothing else this will work, but as I've shown you it's not a whole lot, it weighs a lot less, I guess it is a lot smaller than the Glock 26, and 10 rounds of 22 are better than 10 rounds of nothing, so... I mean, it's, 
it's a good last resort, I suppose, but I would go ahead and stick to something more like the Rock Island or the Glock for more of a carry gun. But as a little novelty, fun shooter, this is the way to go right here. Cheap, fun, accurate. Once you polish up the hammer, don't really have too many issues with it. So, enjoy shooting. There's my thoughts on the Walther P22. Good little gun. I think we're going to look into getting the Walther 9mm also to have all three, the 9mm, the 380, and the 22. Just because they're nice little guns. I like them. Uh, my family likes them. We like to shoot them. They're fun little guns. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, anything you'd like to see, leave down below and I will get back to you, let you know. Have a good day. Enjoy shooting.